What's up guys? I'm Daniela, Tamara's personal hairstylist and makeup artist from Real Housewives of Orange County. I'm going to show you how to curl your hair today. Everyone's always asking me for behind the scenes tips and tricks on how to do hair and makeup. Well, today you're going to get how to curl your hair. So I'm going to start off with small sections. Key to curling your hair is taking small sections and actually because I have hair extensions I'm not gonna spray every little section but for everyone else out there because your hair does not curl like hair extensions for each section you want to spray it so say I'm pulling my hair out right now spray it with hairspray today I'm basically gonna be curling everything back and you'll see the end result on what that looks like in the front. I'm going to turn around just so you can see what it looks like from behind. Now when you unravel, you want to slowly unravel it. Some people just take it out and that's going to give your hair a different curled look. And since I have thick hair with these hair extensions, I turned the heat up all the way on my Babless Ceramic Curling Iron. If you have fine hair, you don't want to turn it up all the way. And I'd say I hold it about a good 20 seconds on your hair. If you're taking bigger sections, it's not going to get heated up as well and it's not going to stay. And again, Slowly unravel and let go. Next section. That's what it looks like. Starting at the mid strand of the hair, slowly letting the ends get in under the barrel. Holding it to get the heat through all the way. People always tell me, it's so hard to curl your hair. It's really not that hard. It's just people don't have the patience to take small sections and do it correctly. I mean, practice makes perfect. I didn't get this good from not doing it every day. I curl and style hair for a living, so of course I'm gonna be good at it. If you can't expect yourself to be as good as a professional stylist right off the bat, you gotta practice. But thanks to all these YouTube videos, you can become a professional stylist without even having to come to school. Let me turn around again so you can see the section. I'm basically taking quarter inch sections all the way around the hair and start it at the nape first. If you can see, I'm pumping the handle and slowly pulling it out and rolling it back up to make sure I feed in the ends. See how many sections I'm taking? Your hair just doesn't come out looking amazing by kind of half-assing it. You really gotta take the time. Ch 
checking to see if there's any straight pieces back there. I think I'm getting them all. Top section, last section. So now you could either leave it the way it is and just kind of go with it all perfect and set or you can finger through it. I like fingering through it because sometimes like a little bit of a softer look. And then if you really want to get fancy in it and add some volume, you can take a section right over your part. And this is how you back comb. Take another section. Flip it back over. <laughs> okay guys, I'm done. Just kidding. And then you're gonna take another section right here. See, I'm basically just picking up my whole crown area. Eyelashes are so long, my hair is getting stuck in it. Ooh. Throwing the comb now, getting all excited about back combing. And there you go. Now I'm ready for a night out on the town. Let me show you the back. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel as I give out my behind the scenes beauty tips and tricks. Please also follow me on Instagram and on Twitter and leave any sort of suggestions on beauty tips and tricks you would love to see. Have a great day.